Hi everyone, so I have something really interesting to share with you here today and I've just received the all new pump by Femi and uh, I think this looks very familiar to many of you but I shall not go into details about that. Okay. So let us now unbox and see what is inside the box. So when you first open up the box, you will find a instruction manual and inside you will find the pump Femi. So there is actually a protective cover. Just remove the protective cover. And generally this looks pretty much what you see in, uh, in the market already. However, uh, I realized there is actually a joystick here. So uh, it's pretty cool, not sure what it's for, but uh, Let's try it out. So first of all, uh, to turn on the power, to, you need to press and hold the record button. So once it's turned on, you can see there's actually the LCD screen over here. And uh, so, interesting. There is actually a joystick which allows you to manually control the left and the right. And I understand uh, by reading the instruction manual, um, it's actually a dual function joystick where it allows you to actually to adjust the camera. And if you were to press and hold it, it actually locks the joystick, but it allows you to digitally zoom in and digitally zoom out let's see and on if you were to adjust the right and the left on the joystick it allows you to change your exposure so pretty cool this is the dual function joystick and on the screen itself i think there are a few functions um, like if you were to swipe up, okay, that's uh, it's supposed to preview your videos or photos. So currently, I don't have any of the videos or photos in the micro SIM card. Uh, uh, by sweep, swiping left and right, it allows you to change to the different modes like camera, they have a uh, panorama, they have time lapse, they even have slow motion and video. So by swiping left and right, it allows you to change to the different camera modes. By swiping down, it allows you to change to different settings as well. So the very first one is, uh, it allows you to change to different mode like follow. This is like the full follow. It allows you to do FPV. It allows you to pitch lock, so locks the pitch, and it allows you to gimbal lock. So it's pretty much like the L mode that you find in most gimbal. So multi frames. Uh, what is multi frames? Oh, it allows you to change the different scenes on the screen. Like this is actually the white mode. Yeah, you can change to. Uh, zoom mode so this is pretty much zoom in or you can just leave it in uh, the standard standard white mode so besides this uh, there are camera settings gimbal settings system settings so pretty much everything on the screen yeah so that's pretty much about that um, you have the recording button here, which allows you to record and stop. Um, there is actually a two microphones on the pump. One is on the front over here, and there is another one on the side over here. I'm not sure you can see it, but there are actually two microphones on the pump. So um, 
it comes with a built-in battery. Um, I was told that when fully charged, uh, if you are recording with uh, 1080, uh, it can last you, uh, battery runtime can last you about one, sorry, 240 minutes. And it's actually charged by the quick charge, Type-C quick charge. Um, behind here, there is actually a quarter inch screw hole as well. So if you want to mount it on some like uh, quick release plates or your tripod or you know you have a, a, a quick release plate that mounts onto your, your shoulder, shoulder pad on the backpack, you can actually mount it as well. So yeah, generally it looks pretty cool. So this is where the micro SD card sits in. Yep. So next, they actually have also a application where you can actually connect uh, the palm onto the app on your smartphone. So first of all, you need to turn on the Wi-Fi function on the palm. So by doing that, you need to slide down, slide to the right. There is this Wi-Fi function over here. Press it, turn it on and it will reveal the, the name of the device over here. So once you have turned on the Wi-Fi on your palm, next, go to the application, which is the Fimi Play. Download this application. It's available on uh, iOS, iTunes, as well as uh, Google Play. So it's free to download. When you download the application, turn on the application. This is the interface of the application. So once you have entered in the application, enter device. So when you have entered device, you will see this page. Click connect. And you need to turn on your Wi-Fi. Once you've turned on the Wi-Fi, search for the device. So in this case, the device name is PALM9966C6. So go ahead and connect to the gimbal. So once you've connected to the PALM, you will see the live view of the PALM, which is over here. And there are really a lot of cool functions on the app. Like there is actually a joystick which allows you to manually control. It allows you to recenter over here. There's actually a recording button. There's a playback button over here where you can actually play back. Currently, there's nothing in my micro SD card. They have all the functions, the camera modes over here that you can switch between the slow motion. You can switch time lapse. You can go to photos. You can go to panorama. You can change the different settings from here. Yep. So besides that, uh, you have the option, for example, if you're in a video, you have an option to turn off your microphone or to turn on your microphone over here. You have an option of, uh, there's something like a fish eye function over here. Um, on the left, you can actually see the, you can even change the different camera modes, the different modes over here. Um, like you can actually change between, um, adjust the speed of your page, your gimbal log, you can adjust the speed of your pan follow. You can even adjust the speed of the joystick. Yeah, so pretty cool. Um, over here, you can actually change the resolution. Um, the palm can actually reach up to a resolution of 4K with a frame rate of 30 frames per second. Uh, if you were to bring it down a little bit, 2.7K, it actually allows you to go up to 60 frames per second. So that's pretty cool. And uh, 1080, the 1080, which also allows you to go between 30 to 60 frames per second. So this is the resolution. So pretty much cool. Um, yeah. And from what I see, I don't actually get 
a lot of delay. So the connection is actually very stable. I'm very impressed. Yeah, I don't think there's actually, in fact, much delays, like probably 0 0.2 seconds or so. Yeah. So this is the application that you can actually also download and use it on the Palm. So it's pretty cool. So overall, I feel that the Palm um, is pretty cool. Um, it has a lot of really nice fun functions and uh, what I like about this is actually the joystick, you know, it's uh, probably something you don't see in the market. So a joystick is really cool on the Palm. Um, but I've actually yet to test this out for a shoot so I'll probably bring this out to shoot something and then uh, I'll share uh, all this video footages with you again uh, probably test out the resolution of the camera as well as the stability of the gimbal yep uh, so if you wanna find out more of the pump or if you like the pump do leave us a comment below and uh, let us know what you want to know and we will share more details with you again. So with that, stay tuned.